hey guys welcome back to my channel so um today we're having a conversation today today is another episode of tame and talk these episodes are few and far between but i do like to sit here do my hair and talk to you guys so yeah and today we're talking about turning 25 okay turning 25 if you're a nigerian girl and you're about to turn 25 you understand why this topic can be such a big deal and if you're an adult in general turning 25 can be something that's like scary right and you might have had like plans when you were growing up like when i'm 25 i want to do this when i'm 25 i want to have this or have had this or have done this yeah but usually that's not how life works so that's what we're chatting about today especially for me because I'm turning 25 this month yeah so fun times anyways let's get into the chatting okay okay so I know I look crazier than last time you saw me but I already started off with like losing my hair and as I'm losing it I'm just putting it in twists so that it doesn't like scrunch up or like just yeah I just want it to be manageable and I have this to help me take out my you know braids and then I have <laughs> I have a whole okay it's probably not going to show you guys anything but i have a whole full notes of things that i wrote this was a random day i was just writing down ideas for youtube and i always try to like go back and break down my ideas like write down things i want to talk about so i have a whole sorry i have a whole thing going on so let me get started the first thing with like turning 25 I feel like I mentioned in the intro, I feel like for a Nigerian girl, like turning 25, it's just a big deal because that's when everyone starts to like think about and talk about marriage for you. Um, yeah, so there's this expectation that you should be married or preparing to get married at 25. If I look cross-eyed, it's because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. At least for me, I don't know if this, anybody else can relate to this. For me, I know up until I was like, probably even still in a way now, I had a curfew of 7 p.m. Um, I wasn't necessarily like, it wasn't frowned on particularly to talk to boys, but I know a lot of people like that. If they even mention a boy, it's just like, what? But yeah, um, I have a curfew. I can't really talk to boys or when I was growing up like when i was 17 18 like if i said i had a boyfriend it was almost like what are you doing like what's that and then fast forward to a few years later everybody expects you to have found someone i'm like which way now like i don't go out i don't because my parents didn't really let me go out that much and i couldn't stay out late like 7 p.m is when things are starting and, I, and that's when i have to be home so i didn't at some point i didn't even try so i think my introverted nature was <laughs> birth as a result of my upbringing because i'm just so used to staying at home right now at the age where people are like oh yes you know your husband will come this and that and honestly i do desire to be married i do desire to find love but i'm anxious that i, I like if i haven't at this point in time i probably never will um so that's one of the fears that come with at least for me being 25 i don't know if any other person feels the same way and at this point at this age as well you're already kind of you know what you want right you're not just like trying to try anything you kind of know what you want what you have in mind for like a future partner so you're not just accepting attention from anyone and at this point people are already trying to tell you that okay maybe you should bring your shoulder down a little bit or your standards are too high like even when your standards are basic like people are still trying to whisper in your ears that they're too high so you just tend to feel like it's not gonna work out or it's not gonna go anywhere even if you get attention like you're getting the wrong type of attention especially somebody like me i'm not saying i'm a celebrity or anything like i'm not trying to be pompous no i'm just saying that like when you like when your job is to look good quote unquote on social media a lot of people will reach out to you and a lot of times it's just fluff it's just like guys just trying their luck with anybody that they want to talk to like they're not necessarily like reaching out to you because there's something intriguing in you no they reached out to you and like five other girls at the same time so yeah like it's just kind of annoying and for me another thing about being 25 is that i think a lot of times because of the interest i have people tend to think that i'm immature 
and i just don't think it's fair <laughs> but i mean it is what it is let me give an example like i'm pretty sure last year i watched and rewatched fairly odd pairs like 10 times not 10 times but maybe like two or three times um but i do like to watch cartoons i like marvel movies i like to break them down i like to watch like the easter egg videos and all the like possible endings and theories and things like that um and i think people think okay you can't possibly be interested in this and in a way look like i do on social media because on here you guys see the real me a lot more than maybe like my instagram because i think instagram is kind of a superficial place i do still try to show you guys like real hair real skin everything but for the most part i look like your body so i'm not supposed to have to the world's eyes i'm not supposed to have certain interests and it just puts me well i feel like it puts me at a disadvantage because people are like oh at your age you still like cartoons or at your age you still like um superhero movies and things like that and yeah i just feel like it's it turns people away <laughs> yeah it's just it's just very 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 sad <laughs> another thing is that i feel like i don't have my stuff together And I think it shows just because I feel like there was no prep for adulthood I'm not saying that that's like an excuse or like it's is a valid thing but I'm not saying that other people didn't have this issue as well but for me it took me a while for me to like start to actually really think like okay what do I want for my life how independent do I want to be what kind of money do I want to be making like I want to just live for myself not live for myself but I want to be able to take care of myself and take care of my needs without having to like bother anyone around me so it took me a while to get to the point where I was like okay I have to think about these things I have to think about my future and my family and things like that it took me a while to get to that point so I feel like there's really no lesson in adulthood for like trying to of course now it's getting better because a lot of people are having these kind of conversations but when I was 18 nobody was telling me okay you need to start saving up okay you need to plan for your future I wasn't no not sorry no kind of conversation like that was happening around me so i was just like living my baby girl life and just like yeah you know of course i thought my dad would always be around to take care of me and stuff like that so yeah i wasn't prepped for this and i don't have my stuff together and i feel like sometimes guys a little bit older because let's be honest like at my age i get approached by older guys so guys older than me will usually come with a certain energy that is just like don't be asking me what my plans are for the next five years i don't know please like obviously i have my plans broken down or i have like a, a plan but i don't have a like a super detailed long-term project plan for my life because i just feel like life is pretty unexpected so when people come with that energy i'm just like I usually don't I usually panic and I usually don't have like a proper answer for them and I think that might turn them away like oh this person is not serious but I am serious I am trying to build something I am trying to like achieve goals and focus on things right so yeah that's the first part about um 25 this is just in terms of love finding love and like finding connections making connections with like a possible future partner or like a possible mate you know that kind of thing next thing is i feel like i don't look 25. and sometimes i really hate it because i okay i'm not trying to compare myself to anyone but there are days where i do feel like i look at other people and they just have this like body look and they just have this like okay edges laid lashes done nails done body on check nice dress all that stuff right and then there's me i feel like i know my style and i know who i am but i do get discouraged sometimes because i'm like okay i want to be able to look like that if i wanted to and every time i've tried to look like something else i tend to hate it or i tend to just feel like i'm trying too hard to be something that i'm not necessarily so uh yeah and i feel like there's you people that are younger than me like 20 21 that look so mature that have like stupidly long nails done and i'm like okay can i can i look like this i've had someone i think it was on my 22nd birthday actually someone mistook me for a 16 year old 
and I remember that thing so much because oh, I think it was a day before my birthday and I was at work and everything and I just remember it so much I'm like wow I'm 22 and people still think I look 16 like that's crazy and it's not necessarily like a horrible thing because I mean I guess if you look younger sure like it could work for you in certain situations but I am sometimes insecure about how I look especially like and this is a touchy subject especially like with natural hair um because I always have like buns or puffs or like you know hair hair like I say hair <laughs> hair like this like with my mini twist and like pigtails and things like that so I just feel like I just don't look my age and sometimes I genuinely hate it and this is another something that stems off of that I think sometimes people don't take me as seriously because I don't look as serious if that makes sense um, it's just unfortunate because I think sometimes people would give more attention to someone that looks more put together quote unquote because let's face it people still don't think natural hair is a put together look right or a sign of or natural hair is like a sign of immaturity or or makes you look younger and things like that people still think like that even though I don't want to think like that other people still do and it affects how they see me unfortunately anyways let's move on I think I already touched on this in the first point I was talking about cartoons and things but then even with how I speak sometimes or my sense of humor or like the way I act I think I can be quite quirky I don't know how to say but I'm just saying that I have many voices many cartoon voices yes this is what I'm looking for I have many cartoon voices in my head and I can just tend to um, use them at different points in time so unfortunately like uh, that's also makes people not take me seriously sometimes and the funny thing is, on the opposite end, I can be quite direct and quite serious about things that I want to say and do. But when I am quite direct and quite serious, people can't take that either. So it's like there's two sides of me and I can't necessarily find a balance that works for everyone. So I just have to be either the silly one that is always talking in cartoon voices and talking about Marvel theories or the one that's too serious that everyone thinks is uptight which is just frustrating it can be very frustrating and very limiting because on one hand um when i especially when i talk about like independence and like feminist like ideas or topics people can tend to think that i'm like too uptight or i'm too much if that makes sense and then on the other hand people are just like what's this one doing like in terms of the cartoon side now so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't like being perceived as intense and I don't think I should care but the truth is I don't like being perceived as intense. It is what it is. And this is tied to this point that I just raised. Because I don't want to be perceived as intense sometimes I shrink myself so that other people don't feel uncomfortable around me. Especially for guys, unfortunately, because with my female friends, with girls, and like I can be normal and like it is what it is, right? Especially because they're my friends or they're people that I regularly talk to. But I don't have that many guy friends. I've said this before um, because complications. But I don't have that many guy friends, and sometimes guys can be intimidated by someone that has their stuff together, like. I I know I just said I do I don't have my stuff together but I'm just I'm, I'm on the journey to getting my stuff together and it's very evident that I am um, so I'm very strict about how I spend my time strict about things that I need to do at certain times and things like that right so with all of that and, and being independent and not waiting for somebody to fix something or do something for me um, I think it, it, it's it's unfortunately still makes guys feel uncomfortable like it feels like most most guys that I've spoken to need to be needed <laughs> like they need you to have a reason to need them <laughs> I feel like I just made it worse repeating it again but I, I hope you get what I'm trying to say I remember there was this conversation I had with a group of guys and they were saying that like if they were talking about basically about biblical marriages and things like oh if I'm not the provider and the protector like if a woman has a job or like some stuff something like something along those lines then what am I and I'm like 
I don't know how this is going to come out, but I don't think it's that deep because I think people need to understand that apart from provider protector, like you guys are life partners and like purpose fulfilling partners. Uh, I'm just saying. So I don't know why a woman having a job should be that big of a deal. I'm not saying that she should lord it over you. I don't think anybody should lord anything over anybody because like I've always said, like marriage is a partnership. It's not something, look at me talking about marriage like I know, but I'm just saying my understanding at this point of marriage is that it's a partnership and nobody should lord anything over anyone. That you people should work together for the good of your home. Like that's my understanding. I say all this to say that I just tend to act ditzy sometimes so that it's like, oh, you don't know how to do this, I can show you. As by the guy to me, it's like, oh, you don't know how to do this, I can show you. I know I'm a fast learner, I know I can do things one, two, three, and I'm done. Like, And I know I can, like, if I need to fix a broken pipe, if I need to do something, I'll watch a YouTube video too, and I'll be done with it. But sometimes, just like, it makes you feel more comfortable knowing that I need you here. So I'm just going to act like I need you here. <laughs> Which is so bad, but yes, I'm, I'm saying this now because I'm just saying I still struggle with shrinking myself because when you're younger, it doesn't even matter, right? Like, it doesn't matter because you're still trying to find yourself, so you're not as confident or you're not as, like, I can do things myself as you would be when you're at this age, so... <sighs> it's just so sad. I feel like I'm just calling myself out on so many things. Okay, the next one, which is kind of near to my heart because it's something that I don't think gets talked about enough um, is kind of like an anxiety um, because at a certain age I think people expect you to be okay with doing certain things like for example now most of you might not think anything of taking a selfie in public or you might not think anything of approaching someone to start a conversation well I do think a lot about it. I overthink things like that, actually. So when you see all those um, transition clips in my vlogs where I'm on the sky train and taking videos, guys, just know that it took a lot of courage for me to bring out my phone, stand by that window and take that video because I overthink it. I'm like, oh my God, what if my phone falls down? Oh my God, what if someone tells me to stop recording? Oh my God, what if someone is looking at me weird? Or like just things like that or what if someone approaches me and asks me why I'm recording like that's how my mind works and I think a lot of people feel like at a certain age you shouldn't even care about what anybody has to say anymore but unfortunately with anxiety I don't think anxiety has an age I don't think anxiety has a time I don't think anxiety is a respecter of persons I'm just saying so when I hear people say things like that like oh why should you still be bothered about this at your age I'm like that's unfair and that's not true first of all um yeah and even with like creating content like it takes so much courage for me to take pictures like the pictures i just recently put on my instagram i don't know if it's recently now but like the pictures i shot took outside that is obvious that i'm outside somewhere and someone took pictures of me like it took so much courage for me to actually do that because in my head i'm like oh my god what am i doing oh my god people are probably looking at me oh my god people are probably judging me for not wearing a mask for two minutes like that's how my mind is thinking and it's just so so unfortunate that people associate that with age because then i feel like i'm not doing something right because i'm not done struggling with anxiety right and on the subject of anxiety still um you know how you have dreams and goals and you're like because for me I, I think i always told myself when i was growing up that i want to be married when i'm 25. <laughs> now i laugh about it right but at that time it seemed like a realistic thing because 25 was so far away and now that it's here i'm like well <clears throat> it's not happening is it because i don't even have a man <laughs> so where is the marriage gonna come from and all those people that were praying for me that oh yes before your birthday it's not it did not happen how do you feel <laughs> And then also feeling like I should have had a certain job or made some kind of income at this point in time. Like all those things didn't happen. All those goals or all those mindsets or things that I set in my mind, they did not happen. So it tends to make you feel like crap because you feel like, okay, where did I go wrong? Knowing fully well that 
obviously like i said this is all just me talking like i didn't have the guidance to like okay make a five-year plan when you when i was 18 or make not even make a five-year plan but like just learn how to save money Sha, or learn how to do this like i didn't have that guidance right so now all those things that i could have possibly achieved at this age i did not achieve them because i was not setting anything towards this age and i'm just figuring it out now anyways this adulting thing is hard basically adulting is very hard very very hard because i'm still at the point where i'm struggling with finances i'm struggling with i'm being very honest with you guys now right i'm struggling with good health as far like healthy habits rather not good health because i think i'm okay but healthy habits boosting my immune system that kind of thing and then also just feeling like because i've lived so long living a certain way i will not be able to change anything at this point so yeah uh, that's also something oh and then the last thing that i want to say about being this age is it's really hard to make friends because you're at the point where you know exactly what works for you not exactly but you you have a very good idea of what works for you and what doesn't work for you um and you just know that something will probably not work out because you already know the values you have and the kind of people you want around you right so it's just really hard to make friends and even keeping friends is hard because i'm in the stage of building still at 25 but just let's just say in your 20s keeping friends is hard in your 20s because you're in the stage of building you're trying to do things so you don't have time to like catch crews because if you're always catching crews then you're not really you're probably not really working on anything if that makes sense like um and i'm not talking to people that have like nine to five jobs and they're comfortable and they're making enough money i'm talking about people that like are still in like an awkward transition phase and they're trying to like get their money up get their bag up so obviously you know you have things to do like with your time but you have people that you also care about that you want to spend time with but somehow like your schedules and their schedules don't line up you're tired by 9 p.m so you can't even say oh let's go on a night out to where where are we going <laughs> it's not gonna work out and one glitch in your sleep schedule you are just in the merge because for me that's where i am now my sleep schedule is not it so now i'm just in the merge and i'm just so tired all the time and i'm just turning 25 so it's just so weird and because of anxiety as well i'm still struggling with the fact that i'm like okay the people around me really love me or are they just managing me to till they can have the um the back door to leave and 2021 was a year where i lost two friends as in they did not die they just like left my life and it was painful because they were close to me right and I had to deal with that stuff alone. I almost swore. I, have, I had to deal with it alone. Because as much as you talk to people about it, like, you're still going to have to deal with the demons inside of you. And I genuinely felt like with one of the friendships that I lost, everyone was kind of not paying attention to how it affected me or not paying attention to how the other two people involved might have been wrong. Everyone was paying attention to what i did and i was like do you guys not see that i'm not the only one at fault i knew i wasn't even saying that i wasn't at fault but i'm like i'm not the only one at fault and i often got like be the bigger person you know this and that and i'm like i can't do this like they want to go fine they've gone why should i be be the bigger person and i'm the kind of person that if we're not friends anymore like depending on what happened if we're not friends anymore i'm not going to reach out to you like there's no happy new year there's no merry christmas there's no nothing like usually right like there's no nothing like that because i don't know you made a decision not to be there so for you to have an expectation of me to reach out to you on special days like i just don't feel like i'm obligated to so if i don't you shouldn't hold it against me but sometimes people do and i'm like why anyways i've gone too deep into that topic but yeah making friends is hard keeping friends is hard um connecting with people is hard and again like for reasons that i've already mentioned like 
because of how I am and like I'm a mixture of so many interests so I feel like people would not expect someone like me for example okay I'm interested in makeup fashion and beauty okay yes now I like soccer okay yes now I like Marvel like people I feel like people will just get dizzy and confused and just like okay she's too much I don't want to deal with that yeah so that's why I feel like it's going to be hard to connect with new people or even trying to have conversations because I kind of try, I like to be upfront with people and sometimes I just want to tell people okay look here's what it is I overthink and I struggle with anxiety sometimes so are we are we good or not like and I think sometimes when I open when I open up like that I don't say it exactly like that obviously but when I open up about things that I might struggle with that people oftentimes just walk away like they don't even say oh this is why I'm going obviously because they don't want to hurt your feelings but they just walk away after you open up with things that you might struggle with and it's just so painful but it's just the reality of life So I know I'm ending this video looking quite crazy and I know I went through a lot of thoughts but I'm assuming and I'm hoping that you can relate to some of the things that I shared or some of the things that I talked about. That was the whole point of this video for us to just chill and chat together and just talk about life. Um, and I know I look crazy. Yeah, I look crazy ending off this video. That's alright. That's alright because there's no possible way I'm going to finish all of this sitting here. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm pretty sure this video was already longer than I planned for it, for it to be. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found something useful. And I recorded this video to just say, be gentle to yourself. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop expecting a certain timeline in your life. Like, you know your life. You know where the shoe pinches you, right? You're the one that's wearing the shoe. You're the one that had to go through all those ups and downs. Moments that people would didn't see moments that people didn't know about it was between you and god right and you had to come out of that and you had to get back on your feet so i don't think you should be putting so much pressure on yourself expecting to be at a certain point when you didn't live the same life as someone else right so just be gentle to yourself be kind to yourself think positively let the word of god enter your chest <laughs> so that you stop looking outside and comparing yourself to people and stop having overwhelming anxiety i'm saying this because i'm literally a walking testimony of life diversions and overwhelming anxiety and things like that so again just be gentle to yourself and yeah you never know what will happen right and just do better like <laughs> i know it sounds weird coming after be gentle to yourself but if there's something you can do to change your life for the better i think you should do it as long as it's not illegal don't go and rob a bank and say jali say you should rob a bank i'm just kidding but like just do it like if you need to be pr more productive or like plan your time better do it if you need to work on your sleep do it if you need to work on your eating habits do it like it's gonna be hard but you know it's for your future and your future family your future self will thank you anyways <clears throat> don't forget to like this video <laughs> comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one leaving you guys looking crazy as heck anyways bye <laughs>